Setting up SAML single sign-on for your help center with Microsoft Azure AD. Go to zoho.com slash desk. And sign in with your administrator account. Click on the setup icon in the top right and select Help Center from under Channels. Select the Help Center you want to enable SSO for and select User Authentication from the left panel. In a new tab, open Microsoft Azure. Sign in with your admin account. In the Azure portal, click on the menu icon on the top left. Click Azure Active Directory from the left navigation pane. Select Enterprise Applications. In the All Applications page, click on New Application. You'll reach the Browse Azure AD Gallery page. Here in the search box, type SAML SSO. From the results, choose Confluence SAML SSO by Microsoft. In the panel that appears, click Create to add the application to your portal. Navigate back to Enterprise Applications and choose the app that you just created from the Enterprise Applications list. In the Application page, select Single Sign-On from the left panel. Choose SAML as the SSO method. On the Setup Single Sign-On with SAML page, click on the Edit icon in the Basic SAML Configuration section. This will open the basic SAML configuration dialog. In the identifier field, enter zoho.com. If you're from the EU region, enter zoho.eu. For IN region, enter zoho.in. If the IDP doesn't support a duplicate identifier, pick the alternate provided in the Zoho Desk SAML page. Copy and paste it here. Copy the Help Center SAML response URL from Zoho Desk and paste it in the Reply URL field in Azure. Copy the redirect URL from Zoho Desk and paste it as the sign on URL in Azure. Copy the default relay state value from Zoho Desk and paste it in the relay state field of Microsoft Azure. Check the radio boxes next to the identifier and reply URL fields to mark them as default. Then, click Save at the top of the page. Now, click the Edit icon in the Attributes and Claims section. In this page, select the claim with value user.mail. In the Manage Claim page, enter a name for the claim and click Save. Click the Edit icon in the SAML Signing Certificate section. In the SAML Signing Certificate dialog, choose Sign SAML Response as the signing option. Click Save. The signing properties will be updated. Click on the More Options icon next to Thumbprint. Select PEM Certificate Download. Close the dialog. Now, go to the Setup Confluence SAML SSO by Microsoft section and do the following. Copy the login URL. Come back to Zoho Desk and paste it in the Remote Login URL and Reset Password URL fields. Copy the Logout URL and paste it in the Remote Logout URL field of Zoho Desk. Upload the PEM certificate you downloaded earlier in the public key field. Click Save. Now click on Access Settings in the left bar. Toggle customers can sign up for the Help Center option to allow new users to sign in for the first time. The SAML SSO configuration is complete. Now let's check if it works in your Help Center. Click on the Help Center URL. Sign in with a Microsoft Azure AD account. There you go, your SSO enabled help center is ready.